All right, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Daredevil Born Again star Vincent D'Onofrio has quit social media. Uh, now, this follows on uh, essentially from being questioned on the fact that this Marvel production is getting a complete creative overhaul. Now, look, it may be that Vincent D'Onofrio just wanted to quit social media. Genuinely, it might be. But the timing's a little bit rough. The timing is a little bit rough. And the last time we'd heard from him, he had you know, come out and basically defended uh, the show having a complete reboot. Uh, and then now he's decided to quit social media. So it does look a little bit suspect. Uh, I think, you know... It would be naive of us to completely discount that as a as a potential element here, um, but let's take a look at what was said. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this is probably a bad sign for the overall production, and you know, a lot of people hearing that it's had a creative overhaul would go, "Yeah, this means it's going to be good." I doubt it, simply because you got to remember Marvel signed off on She Hulk, and I thought that was creatively sound. So I just don't buy that this will end up being particularly good. Uh, so anyway, earlier this month, so you know, a few weeks back now, uh, give or take, we learned that the MCU, Marvel Studios, were scrapping Daredevil Born Again. Basically, the whole thing was being torn apart and completely scrapped. Uh, they've also fired everyone on the production. So you can see why it doesn't, you know, why Vincent D'Onofrio now quitting social media, it does seem a bit, uh, bit interesting. So the entire creative team were fired, all the writers... The rest of the directors, uh, it was all gone. Complete reboot. Uh, and the thing is, is that they specifically are hiring new writers, new directors, and it's a brand new creative team behind it. So, yeah, it just doesn't doesn't seem particularly great, does it, <laughs> when you're learning that. Uh, now, interestingly, they do plan to use some of the footage, and I think, ultimately, that will just end up being some sort of fight sequences and things like that, which you can rework in the edit bay to suit a new narrative easily. Um, but, you know, the news broke, obviously, and Vincent D'Onofrio uh, was questioned on, you know, on, on, on Twitter, basically, and said, you know, it's not big news. Every cool project I've been involved with has evolved constantly during pre-production, production and post. Uh, a bunch of creatives are doing their best to get it right. Uh, yes and no, it's important to note the creatives are now fired. And it's important to note this isn't uh, just a case of, well, it's just you know evolving. This is a case of it's been in production and now everyone's fired and they're restarting it again. It's quite a big deal. So some fans obviously weren't buying it, clearly. Very, very obviously. Uh, and he would later say, we're going to bring forward the best series we can, one we can be proud of. And then loads of people just kept bombarding him, basically. Seemingly. Uh, and then he would delete, well, he posted, but obviously the whole Twitter account's been deleted. So he would post this and now it's gone. Uh, he said the following. Uh, so everyone, I'm going to leave X, Twitter. I'm going to leave very soon. To my amazing and loyal followers, you know I have been contemplating this for a long while. Today is the day. I leave you for now. I leave you for now with much love to you all. Don't think I'm going to be spending any time on any platform. Feeling like leaving Instagram today as well. I'll come back soon or maybe later. I don't know. Maybe with a brand new account. That's pretty crazy, to be honest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm done with Twitter, I'm done with Instagram, I'm done with everything. There's normally a catalyst to this. And I would say the feedback from the news of Daredevil Born Again being completely reworked would be that catalyst. I think it would be naive to think otherwise. Um, and you know what? It is a shame because Vincent D'Onofrio is a great actor. He you know he's seldom in he's in stuff but he's not in things which you know I feel like he could be in more of it just it's just a shame quite frankly that you know he's sort of left and uh, has let things get the better of him obviously he's not to blame but obviously if people are poking at him about the reboot it becomes quite difficult I'm guessing so it's disappointing and it is a shame 
but yeah, it doesn't sound good. Overall, it doesn't sound good because there's the other option here as well, guys, is that although, you know, this is being re reworked and rebooted, is that, you know, he gets a sense that maybe this is going to be even worse. Uh, and people won't accept that either. And thus has decided to, I guess, X out, pun intended, of social media just in case there is any more backlash. And there's the other way of looking at it, which could genuinely be the case. I mean, yeah, I'm surprised Charlie Cox hasn't said anything. Genuinely, I'm very surprised Charlie Cox hasn't said anything. Uh, he's kept completely stum on all of this, just dead. Which, in fairness, is probably the best way to go, obviously. Um, but these actors tend to, well, they just tend to like replying to stuff, don't they? So they like to be involved and they like to protect the projects that they're in. So I, I'm surprised that, that Charlie Cox hasn't chimed in on all of this, sort of weighed in. Uh, and it's only been Vincent D'Onofrio. But look, it is what it is. I don't have any faith that Daredevil Born Again will be good. You know, yes, it's good it's getting a creative overhaul, but that doesn't mean that the creative path that they're now setting on will be any better, substantially, than what they were on, considering, again, this is the company that brought you She-Hulk and thought that was worthy. Uh, as well as, of course, Ms. Marvel, Captain Marvel, The Marvels. I mean, any endless stream of uh, productions at the moment that have been revealed. And, uh, yeah, they've, they've not been particularly great. That's been what they sign off on creatively. So... When they say we're going to have a creative overhaul, that doesn't still, you know, doesn't instill confidence in me that they now have the sort of, I guess, creative gusto to make something that's actually worth worthwhile. They did before. Now, meh, not so much. But there you have it, ladies and gents. What do you guys think? I think this is more doom and gloom on Daredevil: Born Again, unfortunately. Uh, and the fact that they haven't bothered to hire back anyone that was working on, you know, the Netflix production. I mean, yeah, we know that this isn't going to be R-rated. We know that this isn't going to be any anywhere near as, um, I guess, gritty and realistic. And it won't have a shade on the Netflix one, which is the currently definitive adaptation. That is what they have to beat. And this, this would have been a great opportunity for them to get the fans on side by hiring back the creatives that were involved in that. But, you know, Marvel... Yeah, they, uh, quite frankly, just didn't want to by the looks of it. So, it is a shame. Uh, mainly just because, you know, Vincent D'Onofrio is a, all in all a, a pretty decent chap. And it's unfortunate that he felt the need to uh, duck out of social media. But anyway, it is what it is. Doom and gloom. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>